Hello everyone, Jake here. Today we're going to answer the question, can you pour silicone into silicone to make a mold out of a mold? Um, we're going to answer that question today. I've made these prototype things, some forms to pour silicone into, but then you end up having to take it apart every time. You end up with every layer. This is three layers, so every layer you end up with a little bit of flashing. Um, unless you just make this perfect, but every time you do it, you have to... Uh, disassemble, assemble, uh, mess with the flashing, all that kind of stuff. So I started thinking, why not pour into silicone? And that's exactly what we're going to do today. I made these boxes to fit around the molds, and we're going to pour into that. Here's the silicone molds we already have made. Uh, they're pretty cool. They're nice. So we're going to make replicas of these. But the, the secret to the whole thing is is a mold release we're gonna i'm gonna spray down i'm not gonna be uh, trying to conserve this stuff at all i'm gonna use it i'm gonna use it until i think i'm confident that uh, the new silicone's not gonna stick to this silicone that's one of the cool things about silicone is and i'll show you in a little bit we're gonna be able to fill some of this space with old silicone that was otherwise be wasted so uh, but you need to use the mold release on here so that nothing sticks to it. This is from Alumalite. The silicone's from Alumalite. It's Plat 25 silicone. Uh, we're going to degas it, all that kind of stuff. I don't think in this mold you probably don't need to degas it because that mold's not going in a pressure pot. But I have the ability to, to degas it, and I, like, I think it's fun. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, Jake Tennant, check out Alumalite. Let's get started. All right, first things first is we made a box that's big enough and you just have enough room around it to make a sturdy uh, walls for this to sit in. And so after you do it, it's not gonna be flimsy or whatever, we'll show that at the end. So we need to coat this with mold release. Once again, don't be shy. I'm also going to coat, coat the bottom of this. And stick it down, try to center it the best we can. This tends to make a suction to the uh, HDPE plastic, so it should stay down. We're going to fill this half up and half around to begin with so it doesn't want to float. So I'll get the other one stuck. So now we have the bottom of the mold with the mold release on it. We have the this with mold release on it, so now we need to do the top. Now I'm confident right there that that's fully covered with mold release. Uh, this is a well ventilated area. And if I wasn't talking on camera, I'd have a respirator on too. And I'll let this place uh, air out a little bit and then uh, we'll start mixing some silicone and pouring. One thing that's very important before we start, you see these screws sticking up? These are all adjusters so this can we can level this. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. I'll probably do a time lapse. Uh, these, I just, uh, tap and thread the HDPE and this is a quarter by 20 bolt pretty easy so you just kind of that looks pretty good maybe come up a little bit over here looks pretty good you just kind of chase it around till you're satisfied but if you don't uh, level this thing you it will be very very apparent very very fast <laughs> Pretty good Once again, this is a Lumalite Plat 25 uh, silicone 
it's clear so we can color it I also have these these colors from Alumalite it, it doesn't take very much and I'll show you that when we get there but I only want to go about half with this so uh, it's one to one by weight or volume so I'm just gonna go ahead and get this done um, I'll come back when it's time to put some color in it and degas it we are gonna degas this so I can I can stir this as pretty much as fast as I want or or whatever I can introduce bubbles I'm still gonna degas it so but if you're not gonna degas it and you're gonna have something that's going to go in the pressure pot then stir slowly you have 35 minutes to work with this stuff so I've been stirring this for a little over four minutes let me put this on here and we will tear it and I want this one to be blue so I want different molds I want different colors that's the cool thing about the platinum based silicones is you can do it I'm gonna put about a gram in there it doesn't take much matter of fact I made it I made a I got these little jars from the craft store and they work great for doing this way less messy there you go it's pretty much already mixed in I'll make sure all the sides and everything gets scraped that's pretty much it so I'm gonna wipe this off this is just an extra piece of HDPE works great for this this is super fun and I'll give you guys a close-up this vacuum chamber and uh, vacuum pump and everything I'll have a link to Amazon on that so you guys can go check it out but turn your pump on and I'll give you a close-up You only have to do this for a couple of uh, minutes, so it's pretty easy. We'll come back when we're ready to pour, and I'll stop whenever there's no bubbles coming out of there, and it'll be done. Once again, it's probably not necessary for this, but I could at least show you guys. Here we go. As you can see, we're less than 11 minutes in, so all I'm going to do here is I'm going to pour around these edges, and I'm going to make some go on the outside. Some I want the whole outer perimeter of this thing to have new silicone on it is my goal right now at this point so i'm going to go ahead and do that make sure you guys get a good view so i'm going to slowly we still have 20 minutes to work with this stuff 20 or so so i'm just going to go slowly and go over the edge like that make sure it goes the outside walls are all touched with new silicone and you want some to go down on the bottom and uh, we're going to give this about 30 minutes or so before we put the next uh, coat on there we're trying to weigh this down so it doesn't float and kind of just get a nice little coat on it and i'll kind of take a little break here and look around the edges i can see right here that there's there's some on this edge but not on that wall so go ahead and get it all covered I have my name on the front of this I for sure want to get it covered well so it turns out well and then we fill up these to weight it down the best we can I'm going to clean this spatula right now or else it will <laughs> It'll just become bigger because that other sil the silicone will stick to it. Now I'm going to do the same thing with this one, except for this one's going to be with uh, white pigment, uh, white silicone dye. 
and I'll get to that point on this. We'll wait about 30 minutes and then I'll show you how I fill gaps with um, used silicone. When you do molds like these, they take a lot of material. So if you have some extra thing like this right here is a thing that just, it's just silicone that was left at the bottom of a cup. I had mixed too much, so you get it. All the stuff that you're gonna see me use is just either leftover stuff or things I messed up or, or whatever. So you're gonna cut this stuff up and put it in there, but I really don't want this old silicone touching the mold that I'm trying to duplicate. So I'll put it next to the walls of the box and set it in there and you kind of stick it down. The silicone is sticky at this point, so it will stay and um, that'll save you a lot of material. So we'll go ahead and start pouring this stuff. I do the same thing I did before with the silicone. I weigh it out and mix it, put the dye in there, degas it, and we put it here. I kind of shoot a little bit low so I end up I don't end up with extra silicone that I didn't use this stuff is pretty expensive and these molds take a lot so that's why I'm using the extra uh, old silicone in there just to fill gaps um, you get it to this point and we'll f if you shoot a little bit low that's fine you can always add more later all right I think you get the point I'm gonna go ahead and top this one off it has a 24 hour demold time I've done it faster than that but for the sake of teaching how to use this stuff i'm going to come back tomorrow demold this stuff and then show you that show you if it works or not <laughs> it's the next day it's time to demold these you can either take these boxes apart or try to use some air um, sometimes they'll pop right out we'll see what happens there we go So here is the moment of truth when I, the first time I did this, I was scared to death because it looks like it's, it's together and it's not going to come apart, but kind of got to just go for it. Like push that way. See how it comes apart. Do that all the way around. You're going to reach in there and peel that up. And we'll do the same to this one. And this one's a little tougher because it has the multiple pockets in it. As you can see, these came out of here just fine. Now I'm able to, as you can see, I already have a few made. I'm able to make duplicates of this over and over and over. And uh, I'm not gonna have the flashing. I'm not gonna have the, I'm not gonna have to take these boxes apart and put them back together every time. Uh, these are super cool. Just if you don't use mold release, you're gonna be in trouble. You're gonna end up with a, a few hundred dollar paperweight so make sure that you use the mold release i get my all my stuff i get from alumalite jake tenant check out go check it out helps me out helps them out helps you out so one other thing is the extra pieces that we put in there i made sure that they were on the outside as you can see none of the none of that is touched that's brand new silicone on the inside so that's why i did it i want my reproduction to be nice and smooth and and uh, perfect so the extra stuff was just filling space and I make these this thick because I do want it to be nice and solid and rigid uh, to, to make a good replica so uh, this is your first time here go subscribe and all that kind of YouTube stuff and uh, I do a live show every Saturday morning come and check it out uh, we'll see you next time and y'all be good